go cold and hungry this Christmas, this Prime Minister is counting down the hours to another taxpayer-funded beach vacation. He and his MPs are taking a six-week holiday for voting time and time again to quadruple the carbon tax and defeat Bill C-234 as they pressured senators to gut the bill that this House already passed. If they won't axe the tax today, why won't they come to work on Monday and finally take the tax off of farmers so the Canadians can eat this Christmas? Yeah. The Honourable uh, Government House Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'd, I'd like to begin by actually wishing all members in this House a happy holidays. I think everybody will be enjoying time with their families over the holidays, and we look forward to seeing everyone back here in February. But I think it's important to make sure that the facts are right, because it was actually Conservative senators that were bullying independent senators. In fact, the Conservative leader in the Senate was actually sanctioned by the other place for his terrible behaviour. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member Thornhill. We all know that the biggest bully in this House is the Prime Minister, and he is squashing any hope that Canadians had for getting relief this holiday season. They are doubling down once again on their plan to quadruple tax on gas, on groceries, on home heating, and on everything else. There is hardly enough money for food, let alone Christmas presents. Two million people are eating in a food bank, families are left to skip meals, and children write Santa asking for warm boots rather than than toys. Why do these Liberals insist on making Santa deliver the basic necessities instead of toys this Christmas? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Environment and Climate Change. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I, too, would like to wish everybody in this House a, a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, and a Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. And I also hope that the Conservatives come back willing to work in the New Year. But, Mr. Speaker, Conservatives continue to take farmers for granted. Not only do they vote in against Canadian farmers, they've also abandoned Ukrainian farmers, Madam Speaker. Ukraine is the breadbasket of the world, Madam Speaker. And time and time again, they've been given the opportunity to vote for the Canada-Ukraine Free Trade Agreement. And Disappointingly, they voted against it every single time. Honourable Member for Thornhill. Speaker, we're ready to fight for Canadians every single day in yeah. this House, despite them not wanting to. And it turns out that Santa's not the only one flying around the world this Christmas. He's got some serious competition from the Environment Minister. Except for the Minister doesn't fly a sleigh. He flies on a private jet. From Beijing to Dubai, he burns fuel and taxpayer dollars just to rub elbows with dictators and pop stars. He emits more carbon in one flight than most Canadians do in a whole year while telling Canadians to pay more carbon taxes. The more he flies around, the higher the tax goes. So will he park the hypocrisy and finally axe the tax? Yeah. Yeah. The Honourable Government House Leader. Speaking of hypocrisy, Madam Speaker, we know what the Conservatives wanted to give Canadians for Christmas, and that's cuts to the vital programs and services that they care for. In fact, just last week, they voted against $10 a day child care. They voted against dental care for seniors and for children. They voted against Operation Unifier, which is an important NATO mission to Ukraine. And in fact, when they refer to Ukraine as a far uh, foreign land, they forget that the, uh, the country that is invading them is Russia, which is a border of Canada as well, and we want to protect our sovereignty here at home. That's what they would give to Canadians. Yeah. The Honourable Member for Montmagny.